Hey guys, what's going on? It's Shawnee here again with another Wii video. Today, we'll be cracking open three of the Grand Archive SP2, supporter pack number two. I got my grubby little fingers on these over the weekend here in Palmerston North's Armageddon, where they were released for the first time here into New Zealand. Um, there was an allocation max three per person. I know a lot of people brought some to hold on to. Um, I brought some and I was thinking, hey, I'm really busting to crack these open right now and I want to make a video and uh, obviously record it so you guys can delve into the hits as well. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say. Uh, the funds go to helping Grand Archives uh, prize pooling for their different competitions and tournaments around the globe. That's why it's called Supporter Pack 2. Uh, you pay the $65 New Zealand for one of these and the majority of that fund goes to the prize structure uh, support, essentially, to make tournaments, um, you know, have a bigger prize pool. Like, for example, last year in Auckland Ascent, um, the prize pool, I think, was about $10,000. But then after the funding from supporter pack one came out it like doubled or something i think went from like ten thousand to like twenty thousand which is crazy so um these go to directly helping the game grow and uh yeah it's awesome being a supporter and then with said that with with that being said sorry let's crack straight into the supporter pack twos okay here we are we've got the three boxes in front of us i'm just going to put two to the side for now and then we're going to crack into this first one here. All right. Wish me luck. All righty. Our box topper is Atmos Shield. Pretty cool. Okay. Now, just before I cut the last pack, I'm going to show you guys what the packs actually look like because they are beautiful. This is the alternate art version of Cremation Ritual. You get eight packs per box and you get three cards per pack. So three times 18, that's 39. Just kidding, three, it's 24. Um, <laughs> I just put you on the spot there going, whoa, 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 what? Um, so yeah, they look cool. This is the rarity symbols, rarity hits on the back. So you can only get uncommons and above, so no commons. So there is nine uh, uncommons, eight rares, four supers, and then there is four different CSRs. So hopefully we hit a CSR at some point. Um, I will be looking to get more of these. So who knows, there might be some more in the future. Alrighty, first pack. First pack, we've got ourselves an evasive maneuvers into a combo strike into an incendiary shot. Pretty cool. The card quality is quite different in the SP2s, I've noticed. The card quality feels somewhat more smooth if you will compared to like just normal grand archive cards and of course as it's usual with grand archive the cards look stunning the embossing on the back is just something i could never get over cool so incendiary shop next pack we have innovative maneuvers combo strike is this just going to be a repeat oh no a summon sentinel Pretty cool. Next pack. All right. So if we hit a foil in this, I'm going to save the foil to the last. We'll see. So Savage Slash. Korheizy Trapper. Followed by a Song of Frost Super Rare. These are quite a nice hit. These are quite a nice hit. Next pack, we've got a Cell Assembler. Shimmer Cloak Assassin, followed by a Korharzi Arsonist. Nice. All right. Next up, Trained Sharpshooter, Creeping Torment, 
and a spell shield wind all right next pack ourselves a invigorated slash shimmer cloak assassin followed by gleaming cut nice all right guys next pack i just picked up this pack here and i noticed that's got our foil in it so i'll save that for the last cell assembler savage slash followed by fairy whisperers super rare that's a good hit fairy whisperers is so meta right now awesome all righty last pack of the first box core heisey trapper followed by our foil being a foil asian protector that's nice that is super nice that is super clean foil asian protector full art wow that is stunning i like that awesome followed by our rear for the pack is a mind freeze that looks beautiful wow And then finally, the Asian Protector yet again. Okay, I'm going to sleeve this up and I'm going to crack into the next box. As mentioned, the next box. Wish me luck. Our box topper for this box is a Silver Shine. Alrighty, first pack of the second box. We have ourselves starting off with a Quahazi Trapper. Into a Savage Slash, followed by a Song of Frost Super. A nice super to start off the box. Okay, next pack, Combo Strike. Followed by Trained Sharpshooter into incendiary shop next pack we've got ourselves yet another trained sharpshooter followed by creeping torment into a another incendiary shop cool we've got ourselves a cell assembler followed by a shimmer cloak assassin into a comet fall super this looks gorgeous may the skies divine your fate sick awesome oh i think this one's our foil so that's going to the side next pack korhazi trapper evasive maneuvers followed by a mind freeze this is such a good looking card next pack invigorated slash savage slash into a non-foil asian protector sick second to last pack here we go cell assembler creeping torment into a korhazi arsonist nice Alrighty, next pack here is our foil We've got ourselves a combo strike into a foil Korhazi Arsonist. Whoa, that is stunning. That is stunning. Would you look at that? The foiling on these cards are just something different, man. I love the Grand Archive foils. Holy moly. All right, there can be no evidence if all that is left is ash. I like that. Okay, now final card for the box is a Serum of Wisdom. Pretty cool. All 
Alrighty guys, now we're down to our third and last pack for the video. Cheers. Woo, okay. Starting off strong with a Spirit of Water box topper. That's really nice. These, these spirits, these are hits. Awesome hit. Alrighty guys, first pack of the last box is a Creeping Torment into another Savage Slash followed by another Incendiary Shot. Cool. Next pack is an Invigorated Slash. Trained Sharpshooter into another Asian Protector. Cool. Alrighty, pack three, Combo Strike. Evasive Maneuvers into a Super Rare Berry Whisperers. Awesome. Okay, next pack. Creeping Torment. Invigorated Slash. Followed by Gleaming Cut. Awesome. Alrighty, next pack. Korahizi Trapper. Evasive Maneuvers into Summon Sentinels. Awesome. Okay, next pack. Combo Strike. Invigorated Slash followed by Mind Freeze. This, I think, is probably hands down my favourite artwork of the entire set. Okay guys, next pack. Shimmer Cloak Assassin. Cell Assembler followed by a Super Rare Comet Fall. Awesome. All right, guys, last pack. I feel it. This is the foil. We've got ourselves a trained sharpshooter, followed by a foil Korhazi Trapper. Awesome. What does it look like? She's got a little trap in her hand there. Wow, that's gorgeous. Someone is always foolish enough to take the bait. Wonderful. And then behind the foil Kazi Trapper is another Serum of Wisdom. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, guys, to round it up, our hits for tonight were one Comet Fall, a Fairy Whisperers, a Song of Frost, followed by another Fairy Whisperers, Followed by another Comet Fall into another Song of Frost. Then onto our foils, we have the first foil, which was the Asian Protector. There we go. We get some rainbow in the back there. Quite beautiful. Then Kohazi Arsonist, which I think was probably my favorite foil of them all. Nice. And then Korhazi Trapper. Quite a cute card. Awesome. Alright guys, that marks the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching just as much as I enjoyed opening. Please don't forget to leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button as it really helps. Leave a comment down below of which cards you like out of the set the most. Just as much as I like Mind Freeze, what is your favourite card? Take care of yourselves, lots of love, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye. Cause now I found you